Uh, so the COMBI-D study, which was a study of dabrathinib and BRAF inhibitor combined with trametinib and MEK inhibitor versus dabrathinib alone, uh, we knew from preclinical work that when you combine the two drugs together, it seemed to delay the emergence of resistance compared with BRAF inhibitor alone. We saw some very good positive signals in phase one and two studies in patients with advanced melanoma. And so it made complete sense to take this to a phase three trial, the COMBI-D trial, and prove that the combination was better than a single agent BRAF in terms of survival, response, and uh, toxicities. So that's why the study was conducted, to improve outcomes for patients. So um, the BRAF inhibitor, dabrafenib, specifically targets the BRAF mutation in melanoma cancer cells. So the patients included in this study had the BRAF mutation in their tumours, the BRAF V600E and K mutation. Um, so they were patients with metastatic melanoma, tumours that harboured that mutation and had had advanced melanoma, so metastatic disease in the lung, liver, bones, etc. Um, and the goal was to improve survival. Historically, people with metastatic melanoma survive a very short time, usually between nine to 12 months. So that's the patient population that we were targeting. So the primary finding was that the combination of dabrafenib and trametinib statistically significantly improved the overall survival over single agent BRAF inhibitor. So those patients who got the combination lived longer than those patients who got just the BRAF inhibitor. Uh, they also took time, longer time to progress than patients who got just the BRAF inhibitor. They progressed uh, with a shorter time. Uh, they also had deeper responses. So the patients who got the combination, their tumours shrunk more. Uh, so they shrunk more, fall longer and lived longer. They were the primary findings. I can give you that in stats. So in terms of statistics, the median overall survival of patients who got the combination was 25.1 months. Those who got the single agent dabrafenib, it was 18.7 months. The, the difference between the survival curves resulted in a hazard ratio of 0.71. The p-value was significant, 0.011. This really means a 29% reduction in the risk of death if you're on the combination versus if you're on the single agent uh, uh, dabrafenib, BRAF inhibitor. Uh, the response rate for those that got the combination was 69% versus 53% for those who got single agent BRAF inhibitor. So significant benefit, big differences. Um, so very, the bottom line is if you have the BRAF mutation and uh, or you're a physician treating patients with the BRAF mutation, you've got a lot of tools in the toolkit now, which is great. But if you're going to cho choose that targeted therapy tool, it should be a combination of a BRAF and a MEK inhibitor, dabrafenib and trametinib. There is no role for single agent BRAF inhibitor in BRAF mutant metastatic melanoma. The most important finding was that the combination of the BRAF and MEK inhibitor decreased the hyperproliferative skin toxicities. Uh, which include a cancer, cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. So that was decreased with the combination to only 3% of patients, whereas it was 9% of patients with single agent BRAF inhibitor. It also decreased hyperkeratotic lesions that uh, patients get. It decreased new primary uh, melanomas and other malignancies. The only thing that we did see increased with the combination was pyrexia or fever, but that's manageable.